Hello humans, I'm the alien doctor, but you can call me alien and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be doing a little bit of a reaction video. So recently it was 12, it was Minecraft's 12th birthday and they basically, in the form of an unlisted YouTube video and this, uh, you know, blog post, basically, well yeah, released this stuff. So I haven't even read any of this yet or seen the video, so I'm going to be basically reacting to both of these things. And yeah, anyway, so I guess we should probably start off by reading the article. Now, of course, if you want to read the article yourself or watch the video, then they will both be linked in the, in the video description. But anyway, let's get into it. So it starts off by saying Minecraft community celebrates 12 years of creating together. Monday, May 17th was the 12th anniversary of Minecraft and to celebrate, members of the community sent us their favourite memories from the last 12 years. These memories range from everywhere from making friends and building together, playing silly pranks and defeating their very first ender dragon. This is very cool. I've been playing Minecraft for nearly a decade. So I'm wondering if I'll be able to relate to any of these things or not. If I, like, When actually did I stop playing Minecraft? Let me just figure it out one second. So because I started playing Minecraft on the Java edition, I just followed this tutorial, which I'll also link in the description, um, to basically see when my Minecraft Java account was made, and it was made in 2013, and I'm assuming that 11 means it was made in November? You can also see here when I changed my name as well, so that's when I changed my name to the Alien Doctor, and uh, all of that sort of thing, but you can get that on NameMC anyway. But yeah, anyway, it looks like I made my account on the 23rd of November, 2013 if you're wondering according to the wiki this means i would have started playing some time around 1.7 uh although i was watching minecraft before 1.7 so it doesn't feel like i've been playing since then but uh yeah that's when i first started playing but anyway back to the topic of this video and yeah anyway so i was talking about how i might be able to relate to these things but anyway, here's the video because basically what they did is they got people to send in their favourite Minecraft moments and then they've compiled a couple of their favourites. So uh, yeah, the video is in a unlisted video actually on their channel, so I'll also link it in the description. And yeah, it's unlisted for some reason. I'm not sure if that's intentional or not. But anyway, let's, let's, well, <laughs> let's react to it, I guess. My first ever Minecraft memory, which is also my favorite, is when we actually bought it. The pandemic was all over the world and it was my birthday. We couldn't get out of the house, neither could we buy gifts and cakes, so I got Minecraft as a gift instead. My friend already had it, so we spent hours every day playing Minecraft together. Hello Mojang, I saw your tweet about old worlds and remembered the old Minecraft pocket edition world that my brothers and I used to play on. It was a seed diamond seed and this is what it looked like. We had a glitching nether reactor core that would reactivate at random times and So this is pretty cool. This is on original pocket edition which is somewhat relevant to me. Uh, I did, I, I'm not quite sure when I first started playing bedrock edition but I do remember playing the nether reactor on my tablet or I think it was actually my parents tablet. Um, with my brother as well because we used to be able to basically I'd go on my dad's iPad and my mum or my brother would go on my mum's and we used to play on the original pocket edition on there and yeah I remember Nether Reactors and yeah actually this is really cool because world just seeing this screenshot reminds me so much because this terrain generation I don't know I can just tell like, I wouldn't be able to tell you, like, just from looking at it, but if you told me this was Pocket Edition, which it is, because they just said it was, then, like, I would say, oh, yeah, no, I can really tell, if that makes sense. Um, because, yeah, oh, it's just something about those old versions, which is so cool. Okay, a little bit more whilst also spawning a little bit more loot. It brings back so many memories looking at it, and I really miss it a lot. Hello, I'm Sea Lions Forever, and my most favorite Minecraft memory was when I was doing an SMP with three friends, and all four of us defeated the Ender Dragon for the first time. I had a lot of fun. Could I just comment on these builds? Like, that's the, I'm sorry, I'm not that much into the Lord of the Rings and the Hobbit and stuff, but that's the like eye thingy. Uh, actually, I don't know what any of these are, but they look kind of cool. Like, they look fairly, I guess you could say, basic, but they will have looked like they. They do look like they've taken a while to make, and you know, two beacons, like GG. 
fun with us because we have spent weeks building our base and getting ready for this fight. My favorite Minecraft memory is when I played Minecraft for the first time. At that time I had absolutely no idea what I'm doing and I feel like every part of the game is a mystery. I was growing up with this game and I think every single moment I have spent playing Minecraft was fantastic. Hello Minecraft, my name is Mark and my favorite memory of Minecraft was when I was 7. Me and my brother went to go see my cousin and we played Minecraft on his Xbox. He said we could make something in his house, so we made a shower for him. As you can see, that didn't go <laughs> too well. Meeting friends from across the world is something I could never forget. Although we speak different languages, Minecraft is something we can all understand. Without boundaries, I explored and created a place I could call home, and I met people I could call lifetime friends. My favourite Minecraft memory involves my chief advisor, Norman. You can ask him a question and he lets you know what he thinks. My friend Darkmoon94- Oh, that's so cool! I would love to do something like that. Um, yeah, I don't know. I really like that idea of building some sort of thing. Like what they did, like Mumbo and Green did on Hermitcraft with, uh, what was it called? Mumba or something like that. <laughs> You know, the thing that for the Mumbo for Mayor thing, like, uh, I think those sort of redstone builds are really cool. And often they're quite basic as well. Like, it looked like he just burnt in a bit of paper and it shoots out, uh, you know, the snowballs. And you could just have a little randomizer that just randomly dispenses some a piece of, like, written paper or something. But yeah, I yeah I really like the ideas of these. They're, they're cool. I've asked him if he thinks her cat Pablo looks cute and he sent Deirdre his pet out to shoot her. She was very offended. It was hilarious. <laughs> Back in 2015, I was playing PS3 edition with a friend who lived in the same town. A hey, PS3. I played PS3. That was the first console version, legacy console version I played. Then the PS3 broke, so I played PS4. Um, and then, well, I started Java, PS3, then PS4. Then we sort of switched between playing on the PS4 and uh, on our tablets or parents' tablets or whoever's, whoever they belong to. And then... Yeah, that basically brings us to the to today, where I then got my own laptop, and then eventually I built my own PC. But yeah, no, PS3 was actually... Oh, we had some good worlds on the PS3 edition as well. Yeah, it was pretty cool. We stayed up all night playing and talking to each other on our home phones. He suddenly whispered, Hey dude, look outside. I looked out the window next to me, and sure enough, the sun is just beginning to rise. My favorite Minecraft memory would probably be back in the old Pocket Edition days where me and a couple of my friends at the time would make huge buildings to make a city. We weren't great at it, but we had a lot of fun. My favorite memory in Minecraft has been all the wonderful times that I've had with the wonderful people on the city that we've been building for over four years now. My favorite Minecraft memory was when I made this world that I named Cave. Um, it was a different world, and I named it Cave because I was trying to, you know, look for a natural cave. Yeah, so that was pretty cool. And I'm not gonna lie, I really like their outro thing that they've started doing on their videos as well. But yeah, that was super cool. Uh, I really liked it. I didn't submit anything to it, uh, because I didn't have anything interesting, if I'm being completely honest. But yeah, I mean, looking at the comments... And yeah, I'm not going to read the comments, but yeah, they're pretty cool. Uh, I guess I can relate to some of them, and then others I just can't relate to at all. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, that is going to be it for this video. Thank you ever so much for watching. Sorry it is a little bit of a shorter video. I've been planning a lot of big stuff recently, as well as working on my new website, thealiendoctor.com, and that's taking a lot of time and effort and stuff like that. And as well as that, I'm also you know, starting to really ramp up some uh, larger videos, especially now that, uh, at least for the meantime, I don't have any exams to look forward to. So yeah, but anyway, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video very soon. Bye.